Hey everybody out there, this is Kyle with Driveline Baseball. Just wanted to give you a quick look at what we've got done in a month here at our new facility um, and tell you about the changes yet to come. Uh, I'll let you know that there's some music playing in the background, there's a boot camp going on downstairs, so you'll hear some uh, wonderful pulsing bass music uh, while we take this tour. So, that's our logo. We'll go from the, uh, this is our door here, it leads out to the main office or the main area where there's turf and so on and so forth. Here is our med ball slash tap wall that we have. It's constructed out of horse stall mats, lots of screws, OSB, um, and there's a trough there with connection balls and the aptly named tap balls here, as well as a bunch of med balls here that we throw against the wall for arm care. A little bit of velocity purposes. Scanning over here, you can see the uh, biomechanics lab in the mound. Uh, as well as we're painting that back wall white for better uh, filming purposes. So we have the three camera tri stands there. Um, in a full season, we'll use, we'll use uh, in a full session, we'll use four cameras. Um, the control objects there on the mound. We also have the mound built out of plywood and topsail turf. If you look up, you will see that there's extremely bright T5 lighting up there. That ensures that shooting high speed is no problem. Um, additionally, uh, up here in the rafters, as well as on the back wall, and here, this back wall will be painted black actually for contrast. We're going to have uh, four 60 frames per second cameras mounted uh, and permanently installed for um, body biomechanics that don't require 200 plus frames per second. Um, and so that'll be a pretty nice addition to the biomechanics lab. Those show up tomorrow. Uh, up here we have a monitor that's generally running either something like Wolf Arts Coaches DVDs or some high speed video overview, um, our huge library of high speed video, pro pictures, that kind of thing. Uh, anchored to it are a bunch of shoulder tubes and total bars that are there with the foam rollers as well as a bucket full of wrist weights, the rotator. Uh, and then back off to this mound or this wall, that's our logo as well as a board of exercises that was turned around for trade secret purposes as well as a bunch of sets of our bands that are anchored to the wall here that we use for warm up purposes. You'll also see interspersed on these girders will be these thick jump stretch bands or elite fitness bands that we use for more like shoulder distraction or elevator scap stretching. Uh, if you go over here on my desk, you'll see the remnants of a very dirty, messy thing, as well as our EMG station, which you can see in our other uh, video, where we have the iPad mini um, EMG sensors and electrodes are all there. A um, bunch of batteries for the high-speed cameras, my desk, stalker radar gun, some paracord that will string up these nets. So we will have a cage going in all the way over here to protect some wayward throws and the like. Uh, it's our pro wall, so it's got a bunch of our guys like Trevor, uh, Ryan, Jack McGeary and the like. Uh, we also have a treadmill. We also have a training table, so this is where we do all of our manual therapy. We have some bags that are appropriately labeled. Uh, it says velocity, you can't really see it. And that has all of our weighted stitch balls in it right there, made by Driveline Baseball Us, as well as some other people. A Lowe's bucket full of some stitched balls. And then our arm care bag that we use for the training table. So it's got stuff like Rogue Fitness, uh, band, skills balls, a goniometer, um, some light dumbbells, some softballs, some jump stretch bands, lighter for scat pullbacks, six pound iron balls in there too. We have some extra horse stall mats here we'll use for something. A uh, little weight room here that's going to get expanded. We have a cable machine with upper and lower poles so we can do all of our cable work. We have a squat rack here. This is my baby. I've had this for a long time, back when I was powerlifting. Uh, I was in my garage. Uh, it served me really well. Uh, i got a pair of farmer's walks here. we got a sled on the way. A couple kettlebells all over the place. Just got out of a workout, so the place is a little bit of a mess. This is a chalk-friendly gym. This back wall will be painted black for contrast. We have a catch net here where guys are doing all their throwing. That's my seat where I man the radar gun and make snide comments. We were doing some bucket lid drills. Marshall guys will know what those are. And we have an Oats command trainer here that we set up to really work on fastball command. Um, right about now we're just worried about fastball velocity since it's uh, October, but we do a lot of fastball command. Here we have a couple of our trampolines and rebounders that we do our rebounder work. So that's a quick look at the driveline baseball facility and what we've done over the last month and uh, we're looking forward to expanding it. So I uh, hope to do another video in a month with the cage up, the full biomechanics lab up, and uh, a lot more improvements. Thanks for watching.